If you have seen my previous vlog, you would know that I'm pretty into crocheting these days. This is considered my first ever crochet project and it just made me fall in love with crocheting. I find that crocheting helps me to quiet down and just reflect on my life. I am that kind of person that would talk to myself in my head so I find myself having more self-reflection these days which is really nice because it also helps me to um, reduce my screen time. I have been spending way too much time on social media so yeah it's nice to just take a break from that. I'm still very much a beginner but today I'm feeling ambitious so I am trying to make a cardigan all of these. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me but I really enjoy the process so that's all that matters I guess. <laughs> Good morning everyone! Before the vlog continues, I just want to take a minute and talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video which is Skillshare. I'm sure you guys have heard of them before but if you're not familiar, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. There are so many topics to choose from including illustration, creative writing, film and video production, or even on finance. The class that I'm currently taking is called Real Productivity, How to Build Habits That Last by Thomas Frank. And this class has definitely changed my viewpoint on what is the true meaning of being productive. The annual membership works out to around less than $10 per month. But the first 1,000 of you to click the link down below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So you guys should definitely check it out and learn something new today. Once again, thank you so much to Skillshare for working with me on this video. I just made my bed but I'm back in my bed again. <laughs> my whole body is so sore today because I went for my first Pilates class yesterday. I didn't film just because it's my first time and I didn't want to like pull out my camera. So this is how much I've done yesterday and I need this to be 15 inches long, like 15 inches wide. I think this is gonna take me a while. I really did enjoy my first Pilates class. It's so much more fun as compared to running on the treadmill. And time just goes by so quickly. The class was around 45 minutes. So I might consider signing up for a membership with my friends. I'm not sure. I'm sorry about the noise. I just had to turn on the fan because it was getting really, really hot. It's been almost a month since I got my perm and I just want to give a little update and my thoughts on it. I like the curls, they're holding up pretty well and my hair doesn't feel dry at all. But one thing I feel a little eh about it is that they helped me to add some volume at the top of my head. So they sort of did like this little curl on top of it. So whenever I have my hair just in my natural part, it sort of gives me this really weird like <laughs> and I don't really know how I feel about it. Maybe I'm just not used to it, but it makes me feel like a walking heart shape. Hello? Hello? Oh, so... I'm gonna try to finish up my course while I eat. points and complications because part of the reason a lot of people fail to make long-term progress on their goals is that they get very difficult to do much friction like we talked about the environment part you have to tailor your environment to make it easy to go on when you feel kind of like you just want to quit and be lazy you have to realize that that doesn't actually limit your choices feeling like you want to quit doesn't force you to quit and when you can affirm that to yourself you can gain a little bit more self-discipline a little bit more motivation to go on so if that's 
I'm not sure if you guys remember but I went to this pottery class a few months ago. I was supposed to go back in February to glaze it but we went into a partial lockdown at the time. My friend and I just kept putting it off. So today, we're finally gonna be going back to do it. I'm really excited but I'm still not sure what colors I'm gonna go with. This is my new pants that I recently got from Yearstyle. It's a little too long for me but I feel like it makes my legs look extra long, longer than they actually are. <laughs> but I just called the customer service and they told me that it takes about 10 days to fix it. I will not have my camera with me for 10 days which is a little too long because I need my camera to film and also I'm kind of worried that we're gonna go into a lockdown again so if that happens my camera is gonna be stuck there for like at least two to three weeks so as of now I'm just gonna stick with my broken viewfinder and I'm currently filming on my phone because I feel like the audio is better on my phone like if I film on my phone so Pajamas. My broken viewfinder just makes me not feel like filming. I woke up at around 10 this morning but I've just been rotting my bed. So I decided to get ready just so that I can feel more like a functioning human being. But I still need to change out of this.